Anders Warner back here talking about squatting today and how we can use the squat pattern to get us healthy recovering from a back injury, maybe just a little bit of back pain that's nagging. We're gonna be down here in a tall kneeling position to start this thing off. So we can stand nice and tall here. Hips are open. We're gonna push the hips back, nice and controlled. And from here, just squeezing our butt and coming back to that tall kneeling position. Back down, squeezing our butt, getting to that tall kneeling position. The next piece, we can find a box and a pole here. Feet are gonna be outside our hips, toes slightly pointed out, squeezing our glutes at the top, pushing those hips back and using that pole to slowly allow us to lower ourselves down and then using it to come back up. Make sure we're firing the glutes all the way through this movement, down and up. From here we can progress, getting away from the box, getting away from the pole, and just the air squat, getting us all the way down and up. Once we advance from that, we can start using a little bit of a load and start really training, greasing that groove. So the kettlebell deadlift's gonna be a great one. Pushing those hips back, sitting all the way down, make sure that chest stays nice and tall, and squeezing our butt all the way up. All the way down, squeezing our butt. Once we get done with that, Goblet squat's gonna be the final piece. Goblet squat's the final piece because once we're up here, it starts to put a little bit of strain on our low back. We have to really work on our core to maintain that chest up position. So here, pushing back all the way down, squeezing our butt all the way down and squeezing our butt.